Hello, in this video I will show you how to produce a digital elevation model uh, that can be imported into, GI, uh, uh, into a GIS program from a three-dimensional object using a GSOF Metashape. So the first thing we want to do is to change the view of the model from perspective to orthographic. So right now I have orthographic already, but if you press 5, you will see that you can change the view from perspective to orthographic. So we want to work with the orthographic view because we want to export the top-down view uh, without any kind of perspective. And in this case, what I want to do is just export this small area. Uh, and Basically, I want this area to be shown something like this. The problem is that uh, if I use the model predefined views top, so you can also press 7, you can see that the top view is this one. And I want the top view to be something like this. So the first thing that we want to do is to press 7 to see the top-down view and then go here which is the third icon after the selection tool this is the rectangle selection the selection tool this is the region tool and this is the object tools so within this uh, drop-down button you will have the rotate object option so click on that and then in this mode, you can rotate your object, but also you will move the object for meta shape. So let's say that I, I want my view like this. I need to press again the arrow. And now if I press seven, you will see that is that is actually the view of the top down view. So what about the uh, left or the right view. So this is the right view. If I rotate the object like this, I can see that the region that I want to export as a DEM is actually kind of flat relative to the horizon of the object. So let's say if I just move the object like this and I rotate it, you can see that it's actually very good. Probably I can uh, use this view. So this is the right view. And then rotate the object a little bit, something like that. Probably it's a little bit tilted to the left. So just doing that, I will use again the rotate object and then I will move it a little bit like this. So I'm using the edge of the model view to guide me to put this section relatively flat regarding to this horizon. So now I'm going to check again the top down view. Excellent. Uh, one thing that is important is to work always in a duplicate of your model because otherwise if you change the region or if you change the object rotation, you will uh, also modify the model. So but as you can see right now, this is the top-down view of the object. And because I just want to work with this small area, I will also change the region. The region is the second button, so I'm going to rotate it something like this. I'm going to move it something like this and I'm going to resize it just for this small area like this. I'm going to move the object so I'm going to move the region towards the center of the model I'm sorry, I'm going to move the object actually Move the object, something like this, and 
Yeah, that looks okay. And the region, I'm gonna rotate it again. Just so it's a little bit flatter. And then move it. Something like this. And then resize it. Just to cover that small spot. There you go. And then let me see the top down view by pressing 7. Excellent. So the region that I'm going to export is this one. And I'm happy actually with, with the top down view that I want to export as a DEM. So that's good. So now the next step, and this is important if you didn't use markers. So in this case, when I uh, produce this 3D model, I use markers. So if I show you the original model, you can see that uh, I have the markers here and I know exactly the distance from target three to target one, from target one to target two, etc. Uh, that's why you can see these scales. But let's suppose that you have the scales in a different way. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly how to produce a scale. So let's suppose that from this point to this point, you measure the object and you have, let's say, like three centimeters. So I'm going to put a marker here by clicking right click, add marker, and then right click, add marker here. And because I know the scale, I can just go to reference, select both points, right click, create a scale bar. And in the bottom, you will see your scale bar. And then you can add the distance from point one to point two, which uh, this, this is just fake, but let's suppose that is 0 0.03 meters or three centimeters. Okay, that's fine. Um, now my model is scaled. Now I have an orthographic view from top down, just uh, with a region that is just encompassing this part. So now if I just click here in the tools or settings, I just need to be sure that the, my coordinate system is local coordinates. And I use the market reference also as local coordinates. Okay, that's fine. And finally, if you go to workflow, you will see that the build DEM option is activated. In here, the projection type, just uh, use geographic or planner. I will use planner and the projection plane top X, Y. And the source of my data, uh, if you want better results, I would use, and you are, uh, and you created a very good three-dimensional model, you will have much uh, better results with a dense cloud, uh, point cloud. Um, and that's it. I'm just going to press OK. And then if I go to Ortho, I will see my DEM. So you can see that now this section of my uh, model is now a DEM. Now I'm going to show you in another video how to import this DEM into a GIS program and analyze the features of this 3D model. Bye bye.